Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and in this video I'm going to show you quickly how I use Phrase along with Jarvis to create content. Uh, in a recent video I showed you how I use Phrase to create article briefs as well as optimizing content. But I'm going to show you how I sometimes use Phrase to feed ideas into Jarvis for creating content. Open up a new project here in Phrase. We're going to do a article about what is Scrum project management, which is a, a type of project management. So we'll go ahead and have Phrase analyze the SERP. And this video, like my last one uh, dealing with Phrase, it's not intended to be a tutorial about how to use Phrase. Also not going to be a tutorial about how to use Jarvis. There's plenty of those out there you can, you can go check out. Just going to be showing you how I use the two together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what Phrase does is it analyzes the top 20 search results. I'm just gonna narrow it down to the top 10. Uh, a lot of times I'll use the top 10. Now and then I'll, I'll even narrow it down even further to just like the top three, top five search results, sometimes top seven. But for this video, just to keep things quick, I'm gonna go with top 10. And one thing I would normally do is I would go through each of these and take a look at them to make sure that the article matches the type of content I'm trying to create. Every now and then you'll get something that's just not quite the same search intent you're going after. Uh, for example, using this one as an example, what is Scrum project management? There might be a search result in there somewhere that is a like a template for Scrum project management. There might be one that's just a page from a tool that does project management. So stuff like that I'd want to uh, scrub out of here. But for this video, just to keep things short and quick, we're just going to Go ahead and accept the top 10 and phrase then analyzes the top 10 like it did with the top 20 so it gets rid of the other ones in the last video i showed you how i do the oftentimes do the automated briefs i'm going to do that here and what i want to include is all of these i'm going to take a look at yeah just these we're going to insert those into the brief what i like to do from phrase into jarvis is you can use Jarvis where you create a list of like an outline. A lot of people like to use that command with Jarvis to write an outline about whatever the article is going to be about. And I do use that sometimes, but what I really like to do is take these people also ask questions and build a, a list of headers out of these because in my mind, people also ask questions. Google's telling you what kind of content people are looking for in regards to this search result and what kinds of related content. I wanna to try to rank for all of that. So I will take a lot of these headers and build them into my content. Sometimes it might be in an FAQ section. Sometimes they might be main headers in the article. It just kind of depends on the, the piece of content we're writing and, and the topic that we're covering. So if we go into Jarvis here, uh, we're gonna just fill out the title. What is Scrum Project Management? And for the brief for now, I'm just gonna tell Jarvis to write an article explaining what Scrum project management is and who it is useful for. Okay. And I'm gonna tell Jarvis to write an introduction. And we're gonna use the boss mode for this. So we get Scrum project management is a popular method of managing projects that was created by the software industry. The goal of Scrum is to produce products in an environment where it's easy for customers and other stakeholders to see progress. It's been used extensively in the IT world, but there are many benefits that can be realized with this methodology outside of IT as well. This article will cover what Scrum project management is, who should use it, how it works, and why you might want to adopt this type of project management in your organization. Okay. Pretty good intro. I'm going to stick with that. Sometimes when I'm writing content, I might do that two or three times. Let Jarvis write two or three versions and pick the version that I like the best. Or I might uh, combine some of those versions. So I might take pieces of each of those versions and combine it into something I like. I'm going to get rid of this. And for an article like this, the first thing I want to do, we'll go back to phrase in a minute, but after the introduction, I usually like to cover, okay, what it, what is it we're talking about? So. What is project management as a header or scrum project management? Scrum is, and I'm just going to let Jarvis take it from there. Mm, I don't love that result. Okay. 
Okay, not too bad. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my phrase document, and I like this one. So I will take that over into Jarvis, and I'm going to make that a header. And we'll let Jarvis write. Okay, so this isn't too bad. We're just gonna go with this for now. And then he continues on to another header. We'll skip that. Let's go back and like the what are advantages of scrum actually i think it fits best in front of this header so i'm going to change this around and i need to change that to a paragraph All right, let's go back to phrase and see what else we have here. Um, what are the steps of Scrum? That's probably a good thing to include. So after we've covered kind of what what is it, what are the advantages of it, what is it best for, let's get into some details of how exactly it works. And we're going to make that a header. Okay, so it's writing the first step is the product back, backlog, then you do sprint planning during the sprint. It talks about how you work during the sprint. And it talks about daily stand-up meetings. After each sprint is complete, feedback happens. And then the retrospective meeting. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what I would normally do, just to be clear, I have uh, either myself or, or one of my writers would go through and edit this and kind of work around what what Jarvis is spitting out. But this gives us a pretty good skeleton to start with. And I think what, I'm, what I would do is change this. We'll make these H3 headings. Add a heading here. And to be honest, this one really is talking about the retrospective meeting. So we're just going to delete that. Okay, well, let's go back and take a look at our list from phrase again.
All right. This is something that we should cover. And I'm going to add to it just a little bit in Scrum. And actually what I'm going to do here, now that I'm thinking about it, so I know there's some other topics I want to cover. I'm going to add frequently asked questions about Scrum project management. So that's going to be our H2. I'm going to make this an H3. Um, And we're going to add another topic here. Now, one thing, I'm familiar with this topic, so I know some of the points I want to cover. Um, so that, that certainly helps in this case. And it's one of the reasons I chose it for this video is just to get through it a little faster. But one thing I would do inside phrase here, so we, we kind of went through everything that, I, that the people also ask questions came up, but one thing that I would do either inside phrase or just go to the Google search result page is do a couple related search. So I might do a search, just scrum project management, uh, who should use scrum project management? What is scrum project management best for a couple of those searches and just pull a few more of the, see what other people also ask questions pop up. I know a few that are pretty common in the SERP, so I'm going to include them in this. So this is one, um, also what is a scrum master, which is the person who kind of leads the scrum. <clears throat> the other thing that I would do here then is, so these are just topics and topic clusters that are covered by the top search results. When I start optimizing the content, that's, I, I'm going to look at that stuff, but I also go look at these headers and questions. And these are headers that were pulled directly from the search results, as well as these questions are also pulled from those top 10 search results. Um, and here's that. What is a scrum master? Uh, how can we help your organization? What happened to Gantt charts? What happened to project manager? Um, okay. Nothing really there that I like. Okay. In this case, there's not a whole lot here that I, I really like in these, but sometimes I'll find ones that I want to include and I'll take these and paste them back over into Jarvis and then have Jarvis uh, continue writing. Another thing that I might add here, so we have what projects is Scrum best for? I might also add um, what type of projects is Scrum not suited for. And, and I love this. Okay. So that's, that's another topic that I'd, I'd probably cover. And I, I would keep going like this again. I would do some related searches to pull in content that or pull in other questions and people also ask topics and other topics that I can see that we need to cover. Now what I do after that then is once I've gone through here and I've got Jarvis doing everything I wanted to do, by the way, we did 1400 words here in just a few minutes. Uh, what I would do then is go into the optimize section and that's right, it already, put, already puts a title there. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And like I said, normally I'd go through and edit it for, you know, make the writing a little better than what it is. Um, actually, this wasn't finished. Let me finish that. Okay. And I would put a conclusion at the end of this, um, but I'm just wrapping this up here. So I would take this and 
paste it in. And then we can start to analyze where we are versus the other top ranking pages. And I went over this a little bit in the previous video, which I'll, I'll put a link to down in the bottom. But what we're looking at here, I like to look at the top topics that are covered, see how we compare on here. So one thing product gets mentioned maybe a little bit more on most results. So we probably want to include that a little more. Uh, we didn't mention the users, customers, sprint reviews. We, we talked about retrospective meeting. Where was that? So we could easily do something like this. Actually, we'll change this to there are retrospective meetings or sprint reviews. And that covers that. So I'd go through here and if you're familiar with Surfer SEO, it does kind of the same thing as this. Uh, we're just looking to, to make sure that we're mentioning these entities that are mentioned in our competitor pages. Sprint Backlog is another one that I'd want to mention. Uh, Sprint Retrospective. That would be an easy one. There we go. And we could add it again in here. Um, there we go. So just go through and optimize the content from there. And that's how I use Phrase and Jarvis together. So again, I create a brief in Phrase. And I may can create a couple of different briefs just to get some variation and these people also ask questions as well as some of the other questions that I are in topics that are covered. Then I take these and I go into Jarvis and from here I you know just write a, a very brief brief, um, a very short brief here and give it a title, have Jarvis write a couple introductions, rewrite that to where I like it. And then a lot of the content that I'm creating is just answering questions um, that, that people are searching for. So we'll, we'll go in and describe a lot of these things and I'll, I'll add some additional headers in something like this so that every header is not a question, but I just go in and start adding those people also ask questions and build an outline of the content with a lot of that. So this is one way that, again, I use phrase with Jarvis to build out the content. After we do this and we edit it and get it to where we want, then we take it we t take it over to phrase, put this into phrase and go through the optimized options that they have and make sure we're hitting the ones that we want to hit um, over here. I'll look at the top topics, see how we're doing on th this. We'll cluster the topics together and it gives you a score here, which shows. So the average score in, in the SERP out of those top 10 results that I had was 68.1. We're sitting at 43 right now, but it'd be pretty easy to get these these numbers up. I don't pay too much attention to the score. I just make sure that we're hitting the entities that uh, the entities that are important that our competitors are hitting. So that's it for this one. Make sure that you sign up for our list at the SEO pub and you can get tips like this delivered straight to your inbox every Thursday and I'll see you in the next one.